Fix the hair, right, bitch? Welcome to the Panic Button. I'm Nina. Today I'm going solo and we're going to be reacting to some crazy women on the internet saying things that make no sense. Okay, let's go into a dream world, right? I can tell you. Let's say me and you are walking down the street and some guy robs your purse and runs away. And he punches you in the process. And I just stand there looking at what's going on. And then you have to scream at me to say, go get him. And then I think about it and then I go get him. What's more attractive? You screaming at me? I know when to be submissive when I need to be submissive. Punch him and get your bag back for you. If you're a man, you're going to do it regardless. Thank you. If you're a lady, you're going to shut up regardless. Ooh, that's <laughs> the point. Gotcha, bitch. See how, see how it's Damn. unattractive when you have to tell the other gender Ooh. to do their job? Look, listen, and you don't have the trials and tribulations that I go through. So your life is your life, and this mine is your life is Here's mine. The, the world doesn't and at owe the end you. Of the day, Stop interrupting. The world doesn't owe you understanding. Ay, ay, ay. I can't tell if she's a lesbian or not because she gives off butch lesbian vibes. I'm assuming she's straight, but is it just me? What's with the little fucking, what's with the fucking little, little, little wispy hairs right there? What's up, what's up with that? What is up, what is up with that? Sorry, ADD moment. Getting down to it. This woman, she says she can be submissive when she wants to be. Did you see how she's, ready? I want you to look at this woman right here, and I want you to tell me that she is a very feminine, submissive woman. I know when to be submissive when I need to be submissive. Did you see that? I know when to be submissive and when I need to be submissive. Does that seem submissive to you? No, because it's not. A submissive woman is not aggressive. A submissive woman doesn't choose when to be submissive. And a submissive woman certainly does not have that amount of tattoos on her body. That's for damn sure. Unless she's like a tattoo artist. Or an artist. But this woman looks like she has these tattoos in order to look tough. This woman is not submissive. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I have nothing else to say that this, this is not a submissive woman, dude. Not a submissive woman. Me? Now, as far as I go, I know I'm not a submissive woman. I'm not. But I'm also f gay, you know? Been gay ever since I was born. Ever since I knew that I had a crush on my babysitter, that I've, <laughs> I've dated women. This is not a submissive woman. This is a woman who is going to be not only a giant headache, but she will be combative every step of the way, even if she knows she's wrong. Are you friend zoning him? Yeah, we're just going to go out as friends from Okay, so on. you're turning him down because he paid? Because he paid or he... Or sorry, excuse me, because he split the bill. Yeah. Okay, so you do have an issue if a guy wants to split the bill. Yeah. Why? I just think traditionally, like, a man should pay on the first day. You're not a traditional woman. I think I'm quite traditional in my own ways. You, you do OnlyFans. There's nothing, I, look, I, I have OnlyFans girls on the show. I'm, I'm fine with it. However, you're not a traditional woman. I think I'm pretty traditional outside of Are you a virgin? Fans. You said your body count, and look, I'm not shaming you, but your body count's 16, right? Yeah. A traditional woman is a virgin. Well, I disagree. That's not my definition of traditional. You. <laughs> this is the problem why you can't date women like this because they change definitions of all these words. So if you, like, before you go on the date with a girl, if you're talking to her and you're asking, are you tradi you're traditional, you, men, you have to specify because these women have changed the definition of woman, of traditional, of independent, strong woman. All these definitions have changed because now it's not about the definition. It's about how they see the definition and how they interpret the definition. So before you go on dates with women, just be specific, ask specific questions. Don't be general and ask them. Don't ask them, are you a traditional woman? Because you don't know what their definition is. Most women nowadays, they don't live in reality. They live in the reality of my truth and my definition and my experience. And this is not a benefit to anybody. Not a benefit to anybody. Because you don't know if you're, if you're going to go on a date with a strong, independent woman who says she's traditional. You don't know what you're getting into. D d don't jump headfirst in if you don't know what you are getting into, men, because these kind of women who live in their truths, they're not traditional, 
probably not good and probably incredibly toxic. In which case, we move away from those women. Because when it comes down to it, and I'll say this, and maybe most men will not agree, but it is better to be single and just have your hand than to deal with a handful of that crazy. Especially if you're saying you're traditional and you have an OnlyFans. What tradition? How is that traditional? Oh, it's her definition of traditional. Well, that's my definition of whore. So, which reality would you like to live in, men? The reality where being a whore is traditional? Or the reality where being traditional is traditional? <laughs> I don't understand these women, but that's why I'm not friends with these women, because they are vicious little vipers who are completely messed up in the head, emotionally twisted, toxic, and not good long-term partners. No. So why do you expect him to be traditional on his end if you're not traditional on yours? Gotcha, bitch! Do you want a guy that's going to be monogamous, you? Yes. A provider? Yes. A protector? Yes. Your emotional rock? Yes. You want a traditional man? Yeah, I do. Are you a traditional woman? Uh, I, I am. No, you're not. You got only fans. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, but that's not, not, but that's not yeah. my only source of income. Yeah. I have many sources. That's that's irrelevant. You're like, still not a traditional woman. Only fans is not woman. my career. It's one of my income. Okay. But it's not my career. It's irrelevant because you're still not a traditional woman, but you want a traditional man in return. Mm. So what do you consider traditional? So is, that a, is that a fair? Is, like, let me ask you a serious. Like, think about this for a second. Is that a fair deal for a man to be traditional, be a gentleman, even be monogamous to you when you and yourself are not a traditional woman? Is that a fair trade? No. But there are... Un Answer the question. Is it a fair trade? Yes or no? No. Okay. Once again, another clear example of a woman who has her own definition of what traditional is. Listen, this is a fact, okay? A woman who has an OnlyFans like these women do, not traditional, not good wife material, not good long-term relationship material. These are wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, one and done kind of women. These women have a lack of intelligence and a lack of unique mind. Out of the many, many ways a woman can make money, all you have to do is use your brain. You don't have to use your body. Think, research, research, learn, don't have to go to college for it. We have YouTube and Google for a reason. The fact that these women just automatically go to the easiest way to make money, which is having to do the least amount of brain work, these women are not quality. Their brains aren't quality. They've already created their own future. You already see what the future of these women are already. Okay, one more, guys. If you woke up tomorrow and you're a man, what are you doing? I would fuck somebody right. to see how that yeah. feels. Do you think it'd be that easy? Do you think you could just wake up and fuck somebody? I know I'd be a I feel like man. I already have Riz as she a female. She has no idea what it is to be a man. I have <laughs> Riz as a female. I think I could have Riz as a female. No. I feel like you'd be an attractive guy, too. I think yeah, so, too. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you guys fuck a guy just because he's attractive and he pulls up on you? No. Exactly. We up on say her. no, but there are other girls who would say yes. I'm a girl, right? So mm -hmm. I know what girls like. So if I was a man... Easy. I'll be like, hey, down. baby girl, tell me how your day was. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good night. That is not working. That might work, though. Hey, key. ladies, do you guys like good morning, good night texts? Yeah. Hell yeah. Do you know what women are terrible at? Talking into a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very, very true. But also... Women who think it's easy to just wake up one day, be a man, and think they're going to get as much pussy as possible. They're so delusional, it's ridiculous. You don't know what it's like to actually be a man. I don't know what it's like to be a man, but I know one thing. It's got to be a lot goddamn harder to get pussy. I know that for a fact. Because most women, if a man comes up to her, she doesn't know him. She automatically thinks he's creepy, even if he is attractive. Now, the stupid bitches will have the attractive man come up to her and be like, Oh, yeah, well, you know, he might act creepy, but he's attractive, so I'm going to date him. Meanwhile, he's like a psychopath, and she don't, doesn't know any better because she's judging not off of the personality, but off of the looks. He could take two of the same person, just one's attractive, one's not, same creep vibe, go up to a woman, and the guy who's ugly will get probably cops called on him, and the guy that's cute will probably get her number. What's the difference? It, it, it's, it's not the guy. The guy's personality is no different. His looks are different. And because his looks are more attractive, he can get away with a lot more. Because the dumb bitch doesn't understand that just because a good guy is good looking doesn't mean he's not, he's not any less psycho than the ugly guy who approached her. Women are stupid.
Did you ever see that Netflix documentary about the uh, the guy who's pretending to be like a Andrew Tate, high value, lots of money, when really he was just taking these women on a ride and taking their money? It was because he was attractive and he looked like he had money. He was playing the part. And if he was an ugly, poor dude, these women would never go for him. Same personality and everything. They would not go for him. But because he portrayed himself as having a lot of money, and he was semi-attractive. They fell for the bait. They fell for all of it. Women need to be smarter than that, and they're not. If an ugly guy comes up to you and he's not creepy at all, why do you automatically tag him as a creep because you're not attracted to him? If a creep comes up to you and he's incredibly attractive, why do you give him your number instead of automatically thinking he's a creep? Because other women want him? Because other women wouldn't see him as a creep because he's attractive and has money? Women don't think... They use their eyes and they listen to their peers and their friends and they make stupid decisions. Then they end up alone. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm done. Done for the day. Have a good one, fellas. And run away from crazy bitches. Run away, run away, run away from all the crazy bitches. Say I'm gay. Run away, run away, run away. Trust me, okay? Lesbians are just as freaking crazy as straight women. It's just in a different way. Oh, and before I close, I would like to say this. I think another reason why there are a lot more men that are single than women is because women have groups of friends that validate all their crazy. So they could be alone because they usually have other friends who are not in relationships and sleeping around. Also, most women are not fully straight anyway. For some reason, most women are not fully straight. So the women that... Uh, you know, just don't want to date guys anymore for some reason um, because they're bisexual or whatever the fuck. Uh, they will date women. They'll date bitch, uh, butch women. They will date butch women who look like men that will uh, give them what they need. Meanwhile, men aren't going to date other men. But women will date other women and get what they would get from a man from a woman. I don't think it's right. I think it's pretty much bullshit that a woman can decide she's going to be bisexual because she doesn't want to deal with men. That completely invalidates what it is to be a fucking lesbian, a gay person, even a straight person or bisexual. Is she really bisexual? Or is it just easier to date the chick that looks like a dude because she's not going to be a guy or whatever she thinks? I don't know. These are just my thoughts. I'm just running it by you guys. Like and subscribe. Have a good day. Take care of yourself and each other and stay away from crazy bitches.